Let's take a look at what happens when we put MgSO4 and NH4OH together. This is magnesium sulfate, and then we have ammonium hydroxide. These are household chemicals. Many people have these in their home. Magnesium sulfate, that's Epsom salt. And then ammonia, we usually think of that as NH3, but when it's with water, the part that's reactive is this NH4OH. If you know your solubility rules, sulfates in general, they're soluble. And compounds with the ammonium ion, NH4, they're very soluble as well. So we're going to put AQ after these here. But the magnesium hydroxide, hydroxides, often they're insoluble. That means they'll be a solid. But let's check a solubility chart real quick. So we find magnesium and then hydroxide. We go over and down. That I, that means it's insoluble. So this is going to be a solid. And that means it's going to be a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. So when we mix MgSO4 and this NH4OH together, we should get a solid. Let's see if that happens. So in the beaker, that's ammonia. We have a solution of ammonia, and we drop in the magnesium sulfate, and we get magnesium hydroxide. That's the solid we were talking about. That's our precipitate. So it's this white substance, and if we wait a while, if we let things settle down, we should see that precipitate fall to the bottom of our beaker. Let's come back in a little while. So we're back and we can see that that magnesium hydroxide, that's settled to the bottom. If we stir it up, we can kind of see that particulate matter there spinning around. The question though is, if the magnesium hydroxide, that formed the solid, what happened to the ammonium sulfate, the NH42SO4? That's actually aqueous, it's soluble, so it's still in the water. So if we could filter out the magnesium hydroxide, we'd be left with a clear liquid. And in that liquid would be that ammonium sulfate. If we let the water dry out, we'd have crystals of ammonium sulfate. This is Dr. B looking at what happens when we put magnesium sulfate and ammonia together. We get ammonium sulfate and magnesium hydroxide. And since magnesium hydroxide is insoluble, it's a solid, falls to the bottom of the test tube. Thanks for watching.